Hey, 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 this ain't about you, gang. Let the kids play. Oh, why is there so many flags? So Episode 12 of Friday Night Lights, man. Yo, this time we got a banger matchup. Probably the most anticipated matchup I've had on the schedule this year. We got St. Francis Academy versus IMG, man. Two of the most powerhouse programs in the country. Probably two of the programs that send the most guys D1 out of any two schools. Yo, this is a banger matchup. Headlined by quarterback Tristan Sab on St. Francis and quarterback Ty Hawkins on IMG. So I actually didn't know this, but St. Francis made a switch at quarterback. It's actually quarterback Jayon Williams is the starting quarterback now. Uh, I think I messed his name up one time. Someone told it, me the wrong name. Baltimore accent is hard to understand. But yeah, Jayon Williams, that's uh, St. Francis' quarterback. Hey, this is going to be an explosive game. We're going to see a ton of players you're going to be seeing on Saturdays and Sundays. Shit, even the backups you're going to be seeing on Saturdays and Sundays. So I'm looking forward to this one. Hey, let's get it, man. San Francis converts the first down. That was a big, big conversion for them, man. Hey, they get the pass game going. Hey, that's huge. IMG, we've seen their defense before this year on the channel. Hey, real stingy. Hey, St. Francis got that going. They in good shape. <laughs> hey, that was almost huge for momentum. Really good first drive. Third and long right here. We're going to see what they do. Converted the last one with the pass. Going to do that again. Yo, yo, that blitz came in hot for IMG right there. They get the sack. Probably pushed St. Francis out of field goal range. They got the punt. That was a perfect third down call for them. Uh, we're going to see the IMG offense. We've seen them before. Definitely explosive. And they're going to have to make something happen. St. Francis, one thing about them, they did line is crazy. Four and five stars all over it. Uh, right there, you've seen pressure on quarterback Ty Hawkins. IMG in a third and long right here. Let's see if they can convert it. Hey, that pass rush is going to be ferocious, though. So IMG goes to the quick game there. You see him respecting the pass rush. Uh, looks like they are going for it on fourth down. You know, kind of midfield. Makes sense to go for it. And hey, we're going to see what happens here. That was a huge run right there. Pick up the first down on third and long. Hey, that's big for them. That was kind of backed up a little bit. Uh, yo, the announcer, he got to turn his mic down. Shit loud as hell. But, yo, if they keep doing that down the field, get the run game established, St. Francis, that is what they want. That was a real explosive first play right there. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I think every flag east of the Mississippi was thrown for that face mask. Uh, great play though, IMG. 
Hey, their first play, eat both drives, they're real good. Got to find a way to sustain that and get the ball in the end zone. That is the end of the first quarter, though. We got a 0-0 ball game. Both offenses got a couple good plays. Got to find a way to sustain it. Uh, hey, it looks like a close game, though. A lot of players making plays, which we love to see on this channel. Uh, we gonna see who step up, though. <laughs> is killing both teams right now. They're just getting them real behind the sticks. Got to clean that up. Got to stay ahead of schedule. Uh, once you're in like, you know, third and 15, third and 20, real hard for your OC to come up with something. Uh, whichever team kind of cleans it up first, I think that's the one that's going to take control of the game. That was a good job by the St. Francis defense holding the IMG to a field goal. Now it's real important the offense gets a drive of their own, gets downfield, gets the ball in the end zone. Uh, St. Francis, you know, they played a real tough schedule this year. These types of games when you're playing high level competition, you gotta establish yourself early. You kinda let the game slip away from you, bad shit happens. So yeah, gotta get downfield here, gotta score. We got third and five. Hey, St. Francis had a couple drops this drive. Want to clean that up. Like I said, you got to play a clean game. Both teams, a lot of penalties. Got to clean it up. Uh, third down here right though. Big sequence for momentum. Big sequence just in terms of the game. Let's see what happens. It's been a few high snaps for St. Francis. They gotta gotta figure that one out. But we got another third down. Looks about third and six, third and seven. Uh, big play right here. Ball on the 29 yard line right now. Want to get a few more yards, make a field goal more manageable. Really want to pick it up so you got a chance to score a touchdown. Yo, IMG, they are definitely bringing the pressure on these third downs right here. Another one for quarterback to throw it up. Uh, receiver had to become the DB right there. Hate to see that when you're on offense. But St. Francis, you know, they're a football powerhouse too. They got a real field goal kicker, got offers, kicking the field goal right here. And hey, we're going to see what happens. Well, just like that, we got a 3 3 ball game, 536 left in the first half. And that light shit kind of cool, actually. All right, IMG got the ball left. Enough time to make something happen. Been explosive on their first couple plays so far. See if they can pay it off and touch that. And like I said, man, that D-line real, real menacing. IMG in another third down. Let's see what Ty Hawkins can do here. We know he's going to SMU. We know he got an arm on him. Hey, important for them to get the pass game established. Kind of neutralize this pass rush. Those are the type of plays right there in a close game, those special teams plays. Just giving your team offense good field position makes all the difference right here. St. Francis got the ball on a 42-yard line, 352 left in that first half. Punch in for a touchdown, go in with the lead, and that is massive. St. Francis, the first down play, great play. Only problem is you had a personal foul at the end of it. Right there, another penalty. Like I said, bro, both teams just got to go into halftime, clean it up, figure out how to limit the penalties because it's killing both offenses. Oh, 
the hell? to see man you score a touchdown find the camera get a little celebration in but great drive by st francis right there after the early couple penalties marched the way downfield dominant run game uh bryce diaz i think the running back name definitely toting that shit. uh yeah again the end zone img got two minutes 16 seconds left trying to tie this thing up Bro, the St. Francis secondary, dudes going all over the country, four or five stars, and they definitely lock up. Did a great job right there after the great kick return from IMG, holding them right there, not letting them get anything. And it, Loki, it's a minute left. They got a little bit of time to make something happen right here. Oh my God. Quarterback Jadon Bluyon, he actually not the quarterback we saw earlier this year, but he's a senior uh, transfer in. Yo, right there, phenomenal run. Get them down the field. Now, hey, St. Francis got an opportunity to try and push the ball in again. And let's see what they do, man. Yo, they're in good shape right here. Man, that's what we call an A on one. Through the pass interference, still catch it. Yo, ball to four, three yard line. Yo, 17-3 might be a possibility for uh, St. Francis to go up right now. Hey, low key, the tight end pop past something you gotta be expecting there. No timeout, seven seconds left. But regardless, St. Francis up 17 to three. Hey, IMG got to go into halftime, figure something out. They're on the road right now. Hey, this can get away from them real quick if they don't make something happen early in the second half. All right, we back with the second half, man. Uh, great return by IMG right there, getting some great field position. Let's see what they did, it, uh, adjustments they made at halftime. Got the ball around midfield. Yo, if they get the ball in the end zone, make it a 17-10 game, they're back in business. But this drive right here, super, super critical. Like I said, man, receiver open there, but that pass rush, real menacing. Quarterback ain't had time to step into the throw. Uh, yeah, just a long foul ball. We got third and long right here. Hey, let's see what IMG can do. Let's see if they can find a way to block this pass rush. I don't see the sideline situation a little crazy. Like, it's gates and stuff, you know, it take a minute to walk back and forth. So we'll be having to leave during the special teams. Uh, whatever happened right there, IMG just could not get the punt off. St. Francis got the ball at midfield, up 17-3 already. They got a chance to put a dagger in them right here early in the third. Yo, IMG, you got to get a stop. I said before uh, the quarterback's name, someone told me the wrong name actually. His name is Jayon Williams. Uh, yeah, he's been balling all game. How we got out of that, I have no clue. To make that a positive play, that's huge for them. Uh, yeah, we got about a second and looks like six, seven, which is way better than second and 15. So yeah, St. Francis man, the offense humming right now. If they can keep going downfield scoring, hey, they gonna put belts ass, they gonna blow them out. All right, IMG defense, Loki got to stop right there. Uh, St. Francis, ball midfield, don't matter, they're punting it. 
IMG, they're going to have a shot again. Still down 17-3. Hey, big, big, big for them to score right here. Got to figure out the pass rush, man. Got to figure that out. Find a way to neutralize it. <laughs> Damn, I need to know bro name. <laughs> Yo, that was a stick right there. Hey man, Auburn commit Blake would be great play. Way to find the ball and get the pick. Hey man, yo, this it's getting real bad for IMG right here, man. They gotta figure something out. Uh yeah. Hey, St. Francis, they looking like one of the top teams in the country for sure. Intercepted. Hey, that's the type of play IMG needed right there. Get the interception. Gonna have the ball on the plus side of midfield. Gotta finally get the ball in the end zone. Still a lot of time left in this game. They can score right here. Just gotta put the ball in the end zone. Bro, I guess the, oh, I think it's a rule in high school, like, if you don't clear the hurdle, it's a flag. Uh, hey, man, he, low-key, he didn't get the hurdle, though, because he fell at the end, he didn't keep his feet. But, hey, that was still tough, still a highlight. Uh, hey, man, yo, you kind of saw it coming, too. You saw him kind of hit the little, like, one, two, trying to time it up to get over top. Uh, it, uh, definitely a tough play. Hey man, throw the fours up. We in the fourth quarter with it. Yo, St. Francis got the ball around midfield. Let's see what they can do. IMG, the defense again stops the whole second quarter or second half, third quarter. Keep that up. Give the offense a chance. Offense, when they get the ball back, they got to find some answer for this uh, St. Francis defense. Definitely, definitely stifling right now. We gonna see though, man. 12 minutes, a lot of time left. Anything can happen. Flag going to play. They got most of that back on that third down right there. It's fourth and one. Uh, I think they're going to go for it. Run game been working all game. Uh, old line been physically imposing, man. They picked this up. Hey, they can really drain the clock. Hey, the IMG defense, they be getting stops the whole second half. Uh, the offense got to find a way to put in the end zone here. Point blank, period. Flag on the play. NLT's been killing St. Francis all game. Uh, right there, pass interference. Ball 15 yards up. Hey, IMG, they're in position right now. If they can score, make it a 17-10 game, man. Hey, shit get kind of close, get a little scary. We got to see, though. Oh, 
dog, why is there so many flags? That shit wasn't even a flag. Like, that was like, boom, boom, one of these flag right here. Dog, I feel like this is probably the record for most flags we've seen on Friday night. Like, yo, we got a damn, bro. The rest, like, this ain't about you, gang. Let the kids play. Huge, huge, huge third down conversion by Ty Hawkins right there. Just with his legs, man, make something happen. Ball on the six yard line. You gotta score right here for IMG. If you don't, probably game over. If you do, man, hey, you got a ball game again. I ain't gonna hold y'all. St. Francis might be the best defense we've seen all year. We just seen some top teams in the country. This defense right here, probably the best one. Like I said, man, best defense in the country, maybe. Uh, yeah, that, that closed the door on this game, man. Fat lady, she's singing crazy. Uh, she in the second stanza right now. Hey, St. Francis got a, took a couple losses early in, uh, earlier this year to some high caliber opponents. Played another one tonight. They definitely put belt to ass. You in the jersey? You seen it? You seen it? That's the line in the country, shorty. Forget the Rays, forget all of that. When you line it up, my gang is gonna hunt. You understand what I'm saying? They gonna hunt. Week in, week out, we hunt. I see it, I see it. I go home, Joe. That was the most extra celebration I've seen in my life. Bro threw the flag on the sideline. They done hopped on the uh, high jump net. Hey, I fuck with though, man. Yo, like I said, man, best defense in the country. They are on a whole different level right now. IMG literally got no answers. <laughs> Getting, I told y'all, some of them backups, some of the twos, we gonna see them on Saturdays, man. That drive, St. Francis, they had to back up the JVs in, still made a play, man. Like I said, man, top of the defense elite, bottom of the defense elite, they don't got no weak links. I mean, that's going to do it. Episode 12, uh, yo, probably the most impressive performance of the year. St. Francis came to play, balled out, put belt to ass on one of the top teams in the country, man. A lot of star power on both sides. We saw a lot of future kids we're going to see in college ball out today. November, playoff season, man. It's getting a little frigid outside. Best time of the year. 
hey, we got a lot of great matchups coming up, a lot of banger games. I'm gonna catch y'all with them. But uh, yeah, man, I got a three and a half hour drive home. I'm about to get out of here. Uh, like, share, come subscribe. Catch y'all next time. Peace.